In our video how to generate the IRP5 file, we discussed the generation of both the test and live IRP5 file. Both of these files will be imported into EasyFile. We will first import the test file to ensure that all information required is in the correct format and to fix any possible EasyFile import errors. Then we will import the live file as this will import the actual tax certificate values which will be used to complete the EMP501 declaration. If you have not used EasyFile before and you don't have it installed, you can log on to www.sasefiling.co.za and click on EasyFile Employer to download the software. If you require assistance with the installation of the software, contact the SAS Support Center. Log into EasyFile with your username and password and click on Login. If you have used EasyFile before and you will be working on an existing database, you can select the applicable pay as you earn number and click on continue. If this is a new database with no history, no companies will be listed and you can just click on continue. On the right hand side of the menu under import, click on import export payroll file. Select Import Payroll File, acknowledge the message that only locally saved files can be imported. Then browse and locate your IRP5 file, importing the test file first. Once you have located the file, click on Open. Click on OK to import the CSV file. If you import the test file and the import was successful, you could typically receive a message stating that the payroll file passed validation with warnings but was marked as test data. You can just click on OK to acknowledge the message. If you import the test file and the input was unsuccessful, you will typically get a message to state that the payroll file failed validation with warnings. Go to Utilities Import Payroll File Log and double click on the file. There are two tabs, Failed and Warnings. The Failed tab will indicate why the import failed. There can either be a whole list of error messages or there could just be one. Visit the Sage City Hearing Center and look out for the dedicated page on all common EasyFile import errors. You will have to repeat the process until the test file imports successfully. Once the test file has imported successfully, an on-screen message will say, payroll file passed validation with warnings, but was marked as test data. Click on OK and you can now proceed to import your live file. You'll follow the exact same process as when importing the test file. This time you will just look for the live file and again acknowledge the message that only locally saved files can be imported. Once you've located your live file, just click on open. Click on OK to import the CSV file. You could get a message stating that the file is passed with warnings. This is fine as the payroll file did pass the import. You can just click on OK to acknowledge the message. Go to Utilities Import Payroll File Log and double click on the file. There are two tabs, Failed and Warnings. The Warnings tab will indicate what information is incomplete or missing. You are still allowed to submit with the missing data, however, SARS could levy penalties. Once all data has been validated, you can click on OK to acknowledge that the import was successful. This will now allow you to proceed to reconciliation declaration and complete your EMP501 recon.